hello there in this video we are going to talk about terraform loops if else condition by saying that let's get started so what actually we are going to do first we will be creating one resource group in azure which is common for all the resources let me show you the terraform variable file where i have defined various values for the variables first is subscription id as you know earlier it was there the resource group name and another type of variable which is map for the location and we do have the CID ranges which is a list of values we do have another map type variable map means key value pair so first is your key and second is your value and we do have a list of maps so basically this is one element in that list this is my second element element itself is a map these are the basic structure let's get into the technical details first what we are creating we are creating azure virtual network in a loop so basically there are three types of loop you can choose from you can take count this is one type of loop count is very simple count can also be hard coded you can put one two three any number that will go fine so for example i do have a cidr range that is a list type cidr range is here which is list if i put length of this variable that will come as two because this is one one value and after this comma there is second value so basically this resource and the count will be two as i am getting the length of that variable now the name should be unique for each resource so what i am doing if you are familiar with programming languages so i am creating one text or string which is first one is percentile s which is string another is also percentile s first value is my vnet the starting of the name will start with vnet hyphen then i need a number something like that so what i am doing i am putting one argument which is called count dot index what is count dot index basically count is my first argument so first time the count will be zero for the second time it will be one two and so on as my count starts with zero if I put a plus one that will start with one next time it will be two and three and so on and very similarly as you see the name I am also getting the address space dynamically okay so I am referring variable dot CID range which is this one and I am again putting count dot index because if it is a list I have to put the position whether it is zero or one or so on for each iteration or each loop it will increase like zero one two and it will get the value for address space so first loop is complete which is the basic loop count now i want to create few subnets and let me show you the subnet definition so basically i have created a map and the definition is written in the variables.tf if you see subnet type is map and the values i want to create three subnets so first one is my web subnet second one is application subnet and third one is data subnet okay and each has a corresponding value which is a cid block for that subnet so what i am doing i will be looping over this map using another type of loop which is for each for each means for each item in that uh, list or map it only supports a plain map or a list what i am doing i am putting meta argument as for each I am looping over variable dot subnet map which is this one I need a dynamic name for each subnet also what I am doing each dot key so basically as it is a map it will fetch all the keys which are in the left side which is web subnet application subnet like that so if the iteration goes for the first time it will fetch web subnet if it goes for the second time it will fetch application subnet now how I am referring to a resource where multiple resources are being created in my terraform so if you are doing with count it basically creates a list of resources in my case what are the list of resources that should be vnet and i want to create my subnets in first vnet there are two vnet as you know because the count was two in the earlier case so i want to create all the subnets in my first vnet and it can be anything for you now i have to put address for each time if my key is web subnet i have to fetch this value correct so what i am doing i am putting simply each dot value this is how i am looping through a map type variable next creating few network interface cards or NICs on one single subnet that will be also in a loop 
but what i have defined i'll just show you the list of nicks are having map type value inside as i told you for each only goes with plain map or plain list it should be like this or like this but if i have a complex value which is i'll just show you the variable final type is list of maps and maps are containing strings now i i cannot directly use for each this time what i'll use for each is there i'll use another kind of loop which is for and if you are familiar with for loop in any programming languages it is almost similar to that so what i am doing is basically i am taking each value or a single value for every item in a list what is a single value one map and second iteration it should be another map what i am doing here so i am taking one network interface card which is a map from that list i am creating another map inside that for each so basically for each goes with a map type very easily as you see key and value the key for that for each will be nickname and the value will be entire the map itself now i have for each ready with a key and value pair if i go in a loop in a for each if you see again i am putting each which is for each basically each dot value i am taking the value which should be this one dot nickname so nickname is basically will be one web server one and web server two interestingly i have to put the ip also in that case what i am taking each which is for each value dot nick ip which is coming from this one or this one for the second iteration and as you see in the previous example of subnet i am using a for each instead of a count if you use count you can easily iterate using its position because it is a list of values once it is created so i can go with 0 1 2 and so on but if you create few resources using for each that will be a key value pair and what will be those keys key will be the keys where you have iterated from which is subnet map in my subnet map what were those keys keys were web subnet application subnet and data subnet so the same keys will be used in this example what i am doing is as you run my subnet which is my type of resource and my identifier which is subnet over here then i want to create my network interface cards in a specific subnet so i have to put that key because i have created using for each which is application subnet for for me i want to create all the ip addresses in this subnet only and id of that subnet it will be fetched from this previous resource now if i talk about if else condition in terraform so basically i want to create a storage account in azure but there will be a condition i have put one variable in a definition which is called storage check and if i put create in the value of that storage check variable then only it will be created otherwise if i put any random value it should not be created that's my motto i want to check if the value of that variable is create then create one resource otherwise zero if you put zero to a count then there will be no resource created now let's get everything into my terminal terraform init and it is successful terraform plan as you see basically i have not provided any value for storage check variable in entire tverse so basically i did it on purpose i wanted to show you if you do not put any value for a variable and if there is no value defined in default value in the variable definition it will prompt you in your cli or anywhere you are running it from now think of a scenario you are running it on a pipeline or in any automated fashion where there will be no human intervention how can you put that value correct and maybe you want to put that value in runtime not in a static value in a file or something like that what you can do is basically i can put one environment variable which will look something like this now tf underscore where then underscore this is the value which will be fixed if you are defining for any terraform now what was my actual name of that variable that was storage check now let me copy and put it into my terminal let me run terraform plan again and this time it should not ask for that yeah now it is appearing let me check what are the resources it is going to create network interface card for web server 1 another for web server 2 it is creating a resource group a storage account as the if statement was create your subnets 
virtual network as I put count type of metadata it is creating a list which is zero and ones something like that and this subnets will be having key value pair as you are using for each so it is going to add nine resources nothing to change nothing to destroy and I have created one output file let me quickly check the output file what I have defined and after that we will be doing terraform apply let us go to output here also I am using a for loop so basically multiple NICs or network interface cards will be created so I am looping over all the network interface cards in that resource and I am creating a map which is the name and its private IP address those will be in my output screen now let me do terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve let it deploy everything let me show you the azure console so the basically das rg that is not present now everything is complete nine resources has been created let us check in the console let me put refresh the new resource group has been created so it has created two virtual networks as i did count dot index plus one it went with one and two virtual network one and two next resources wire subnets if i go to virtual network one and go to subnets and let us go to the block of subnet i have referred to the first virtual network which was vnet one subnets there will be i think three subnets let us check there yes application subnet web subnet and data subnet let's go back to our network interface cards two network interface cards were there the values were one value and second value so this is how you can run through a loop to create multiple resources you can also go with conditional value if else like this and this is all for this demo see you in the next video thanks for watching